Hi guys, so in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Curl Smith products. So I just had a, another quick wash day, under two hours. And um, as you can see, I already did my hair. You kind of have seen my um, videos before me of me twisting my hair. Um, so if you could just refer to those videos for my twisting. But today, if you're interested in what I think about the Curl Smith products thus far, first impression, then please keep watching. Okay, so first things first, I had my hair in a low ponytail, slipped back. Um, the last product I used was the Cream of Nature. And then I actually, um, to slick, slick back my ponytail, I used the Alakay Natural Lemongrass Gel. It is strong, sis bro, it is strong. Um, so my hair would not move and so um, I have something to do Saturday. So, you know, in preparation, that's what you do as a natural, right? You prepare for events or outings. Um, so, so Thursday I'm preparing, uh, Bible study is canceled, so. I had the time, I had the time. Um, so I want my hair to be very uh, pretty and flowy and fresh. Um, and I want um, to give it uh, two full days um, of like setting. Um, because last week I did a braid out and it was a fail because I only waited like I don't know, it might not even been a day, but I slept in it and then woke up and then took it out and it was just not giving what it was has supposed to give. Um, and I can show that content. I just was like, I don't wanna show a fail. I mean, you've seen fails on this channel before, but I just didn't want to. Anyway, what you came for, was my review, quick initial review on all of these products. I will have a reel coming up soon on Instagram, so please go check that out. Um, I'm not gonna insert any clips here, but I may post it later here. Um, but right off the bat, so I did not pre-poo my hair. I actually went in with the Briogeo scalp, um scalp shampoo i'll do another review on that soon um but then after that because it dries my hair out it's, it's like squeaky clean i went in with this curl smith um curl quenching conditioning wash and so this is a co-wash you and i both know that i just don't co-wash so that's why i went in with the briogeo first um, like my first cleanse um, and then I went in with this right here and it is so thick um, it is so creamy it is so thick so creamy um, it's just like a conditioner I did not of course I um, wash my hair outside of the shower and so it does not suds or anything is literally like a conditioner for my hair um so do i like that i don't know i maybe if i probably wouldn't have liked it if i didn't shampoo first so i'm double cleansing so my first cleanse was a shampoo and then or the exfoliating shampoo i don't know why i did this um and then um this co-wash so i liked it i'm not a co-washer um so right off the bat it made my curls pop it um was easy to detangle it was thick thickum so you know you had to do this to get it out um and i'm wondering if it should be in a jar like this um but it has mashed shea butter resurrection flour crushed coconut rare and deroba and deroba a-n-d-i-r-o-b-a 
mashed avocado, torn sage and basil, and black pepper oil. So I love the smell of all of these. It smells, I don't, I can't even put my finger on it, but I love the smell. It smells really good. Um, I don't, I don't know. Somebody leave a comment down below if you know what the smell smells like. Um, but that's one thing that I did notice. I was like, oh, I like the smell. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I could use this as a uh, detangler or definitely a second wash type situation. So when I rinse my hair out, um, my hair felt fine. It felt it felt pretty good. I always have frizz up at the top. Um, but yeah, it, it felt like a conditioner was on my hair and it conditioned out. Um, my hair was defined a little bit on the bottom side um, and it rinsed out pretty good. Um, no complaint. So first impression, you know, I like it. I think that my hair likes it. Um, but I'm not a co-washer, so there's the disclaimer for that, so. But it was in my product recommendation. So when I took the quiz, um, the Curlsmith quiz is the moisture recipe, so. Anyway, so the next product is the Curlsmith Double Cream uh, Deep Quencher. It's a deep conditioner for dry, dull hair, and this is so so thick. I is so thick. I think it's the thickest conditioner that I've ever tried. I've ever tried. It's the ultra moisture. It's so thick. And I was like, what is in here so that it's so thick? I don't know. I don't know. I left it on. It says um, leave on for 10 to 15 minutes before rinsing for a deep moisturizing treatment. Leave on for 30 minutes then rinse. I think I left it on for like an hour with a plastic bag and then a towel covering it. So um, yeah, child. Um, mashed avocado maybe makes it thick. Resurrect and flower, aloe vera juice, apricot kernel, rare and, and aroba and sunflower seeds. Yeah, zero spoons of uh, sulfates, parabens, silicones, mineral oils, phthalates, DEA. So when I put it on, it seemed like it was mineral oil in it. It was like literally so thick. Um, but this is how much I used. And I used a generous amount. I, I, I The jury's still out. I mean, I liked it. But you and I both know that I love a... Um, a deep conditioner that is kind of thin. I like the way that my hair felt. It's It actually felt similar. Like when I rinsed it out, it gave the same vibes for both the conditioning wash and the deep uh, quencher. But it soaked into my hair like completely. Um, after I sat with it in, um, it went on thick and you could see it on my strands and then it just soaked in. So that's a good thing for me. Um, I like it. It's just, it's thick. So it's different. So I have to get used to it. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, I would definitely, first impression, I would definitely purchase this before I purchased this, if that makes sense. Um, but I like them both. Um, yeah, this is just first impression. I cannot wait for my empties video. If you have not already, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, click the bell notification so you won't miss any more content. Um, and yeah, shout out to Curl Smith for sending me all these products. This is so new. I always hear about Curl Smith um, and I wanted to try them. So shout out to y'all for reaching out and I am a Curl Ambassador. So um, I'll just tell, I mean, you know, I tell my real opinion about products. Um, 
And honestly, you know, just going back to this co-wash, I think that I would just use it for a detangler, um, pre-poo, if you will. Uh, and then, yeah, the jury's still out. I, I love it for its, I like it for its, um, like it made my curls pop and, you know, it soaked into my hair and my hair felt pretty good after rinsing it out. Again, I was kind of rushing. So if I probably would have left it on longer, I don't know, an hour should be a long, enough time, right? Um, but yeah, the jury's still out, but I'm excited about, you know, this. And a little goes a long way. I probably used way too much, um, but yeah. And then so the styler, that I used today for this uh, blown out twist out is the curl conditioning oil in cream. It's a leave-in cream for curly or coily hair, moisture, nourish, and shine. And so it does that. Um, I definitely saw the shine in comparison to my hair being blown out. Um, and yeah, it's thick and I opened it before I decided to do a, um, I opened it before I decided to do a blown out twist out to just see the consistency. Um, I wanted to make sure it wasn't like runny and watery and would make my hair revert and it didn't. My roots are definitely, you know, I put just a dime size amount. I did. I did like this number and then just did this and put it over my hair. And um, I like the way that it smells. I like the way that it feels. I feel like it will be a great product on um, wet hair as well. Like I really am excited about this. Um, conditioning curl conditioning oil in cream and so they say leave in but it's thick enough to be the cream um for twist outs braid outs i cannot wait to try it i don't really hear a lot about it to be honest um but yeah yeah i love it um and then i tried um or I looked at and tried a little bit of the Curl um, Defining Styling Souffle. And so, you know, with the whole um, four step system, you wash, you condition, you um, leave in and you style or you moisturize and you style. Um, I think that's the order of it. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, Carl Smith. Um, but I was looking at this and it's just kind of like a jelly. It's like a souffle. It's very, um, it's very souffle -y. It's very, sorry. It's very much like a custard and I was just, I didn't know how it would react with my dry hair. Um, I put a little on my edges and I realized that it was wet, wet. <laughs> so I was like, mm, I'm not gonna put it on my edges because I thought to, you know, in order to utilize or use the entire line that I received, what can I do with this? So um, I decided to put a little bit on um, some of the ends that were flyaway or needed a trim. Um, so I did that with some of the ends and I used very little um, because I just didn't want any like interactions or for it to flake or anything. So I use this a little bit. So stay tuned for subsequent videos on this. This for me, the styling souffle would be wash and go worthy. I reckon. I see a lot of people using it for twist outs and braid outs, but for me, oh no. I don't know. Let's see, what does it say to use it as? 
Use on soaking wet hair, take a dime size amount per section, rub it in between palms, smooth down the length of the hair. Using the praying hands method, scrunch gently upward, then air dry or diffuse when fully dry scrunch to break the cast, no residue or greasiness. So it appears to be for a wash and go. Styling gel for curly or wavy hair. So curly or wavy hair leads me to believe that it's um, light. Curly or wavy hair. I mean, I have curly coily hair, so you could see a curl, but it's a coil. Um, never on the wavy side. Um, yeah, so this is interesting. So that's why I used a little bit on the ends and then I just decided to roll the ends, but I did not use a lot of this souffle. I did use a little bit and um, I tried it on the edges, but I was like, girl, don't revert these edges. So what I'm gonna do is my normal routine, which is, um, which is <laughs> wrap my hair in the back and uh, to the back and um, I'm just gonna sleep in these and uh, take them out in the morning. And so I work in the morning or I work tomorrow. So what I'll do is like the same headband method that I did last week that you saw. Um, and uh, I anticipate this turning out very well because I'm giving it like two days so um, if you like this content please be sure to again like comment share subscribe have you tried Curl Smith products before and what would you use this for would you use this for a twist out the souffle it's so light sis bro it's so light it's like a um, it's like a custard but it's so light um, I hear that it has great slip, but this is it for my winter care needs. It seems, it seems moisturizing enough. Um, smells good. Um, so this seems like it's like my favorite product thus far. Seems. Um, and I'll really be able to tell when I use it on wet hair but um, I'm in my blowout season, so I just wanted to keep up with that because I love it, I love it. Um, and yeah, so that's it, that's all. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, I see some new subscribers. Hey sis, hey Ro. Uh, I see some Odie but Goody subscribers too. Hey sis, hey bro. Thank you so much for your support and peace out.